In this application, we will make 5 point stars. Let's review ZBrush startup tools. I'll put a Polymesh 3D startup tool. This tool is the only tool without parameters. The Intelize section does not contain any parameters about it. Instead of Polymesh 3D, I drag a Circle 3D to the workspace. I cleaned the workspace with Ctrl N. Switch to edit mode with TK, topology view with Shift F. Change Circle 3D parameters from the Intelize pane. For a classic star topology we need, 5 for concave and 5 for convex. There will be 10 slices in total. I am changing the value of H to Y. I change the number of rings 3. This startup topology is good enough. I click on the Make Polymesh 3D button. Now, I rotate one of the edges vertically. I open Radial Symmetry from the Transform menu. Transform, Activate Symmetry and set 5 Polar Radial Value. Local Symmetry mode. I find appropriate axis symmetry. We are gonna snap the points underneath. I choose the Z modeler brush. Or from the keyboard in an order B, Z, M. With Z model selected, we come over the point. Press spacebar to open the function list. Select stitch means merge or sieve. I choose. We wanna combine the upper point to the bottom point. So select two points to end points. I merge by clicking on the point at top, then at the bottom. Somehow, some edges creased at the following edges. We may need to increase those edges. So let's remember the invisible surface is the opposite of the normal. On the edge, spacebar, crease, edge. Uncrease, hold down the Alt key and click an edge. By this way, I avoid the possibility of the sharp edge in future operations. Now, focus mouse a surface, spacebar or right mouse click, Q mesh, island. For now, the symmetry mode is unnecessary. I disable with X key. In Z modeler Q mesh, Pulling and dragging makes a three-dimensional star. Ctrl D or geometry divide subdivides to obtain a higher level polygon. Uncheck the smooth option and press divide two times then press the lower to remove lower subdivides then with the smooth check I create one more subdivision. I smooth edge with shift key. Choose a lighter material such as skin shade 4. That material we will often use in painting. I'm undoing a couple of last operations with Ctrl Z.
ZeroMesure helps me to create a new topology. Then press Ctrl D several times to create subdivision levels. Let's look at the topology. It's too high. Zero mesh to optimize the topology. Zero Mesher is the most advanced tool to reduce resolution and optimize topology. To assign a material to the polygon, color, fill objects. If we want to assign color and material, we should choose MRGB, not RGB. Again, color, fill object. I export this shape with tool, export, with the name, star. After modeling a star, let's open the Tone Starless archive file attached to this lesson. Double click to load the project. We will import the star model with the import button. But before doing this, let's focus on subtool section. Add any tool with append, such as sphere. Sphere subtool is selected. We load the star file via load tool button, not import button. Sphere subtool updated as a star. Load tool. Load tool in tool list, but import button changes or updates the active selected subtool. Let's practice last operations again. When the sphere is selected, as we add the star model with the import button, replaces sphere with the star. Now let's scale our star. Scale down. Open the Gizmo tool with W key. Clone by dragging while holding Ctrl key. Control drag the blank space to unmask. Control Z or Control Shift Z case to undo or redo. Let's get the final image. Press best button from the rendering menu.